Good morning, my friends, and hello from Universal Orlando. This morning, I am here to check out Early Park Admission, which is such a great included perk that you get if you stay at any of the Universal Orlando hotels or if you're a pass holder. This morning, Early Park Admission is over at Islands of Adventure, and it will rotate between both parks depending on the day you're here. So be sure to check out the Universal Orlando app or the website before you come here to the park. And I'm just really excited to experience this because I've never been to Universal this early to experience early park admission. I'm really looking forward to seeing how many attractions I can get done. I feel like it's going to go either one of two ways. Either I go ride Haggard's first or I go ride other attractions and then Haggard's or the Velocicoaster. I hope you guys are ready and excited because I am. Let's go do this. I always get so excited when I'm on the moving walkway heading to City Walk to have a great Universal Day. It's a vibe. It is 7.30 on the dot. Now the first thing that I would recommend that you do before heading over to the theme park for the day, maybe stop here at Starbucks, grab yourself a caffeinated beverage because trust me, you will need it. I don't need one today because I actually had a espresso shot at the house before coming here today and then something else that I wanted to mention early park admission is a full hour so you have a full hour inside of a theme park before it opens to the general public which is again very nice to have also if you are staying at a universal hotel be sure to grab breakfast before hopping on the bus and coming here to the parks just to save you some time because you don't want to waste some precious time that you could be riding attractions once you make it inside to be waiting in line to grab a bite to eat for breakfast. Save that for lunch or dinner. Oh, look at this. Twosome Chocolate Emporium is now serving breakfast from 9 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. Oh, this is the end of the line to enter Islands of Adventure. I thought getting here at 7.30 was pretty early enough, but I would recommend get here more around 7 a.m. That way you can be right in the front and you can have more time for more attractions potentially. By the way, the line does go back quite a ways. It is 7.49 and we are starting to move because the team members just opened up the gates. Looks like people are starting to run over to Haggard's right now just based on what I'm seeing all the way back here. It is 7.55 a.m. and I'm just about at the gate to go through the turnstiles. Look at that. It is 8.04, I'm officially inside of the park and I was in that line for just about 26 minutes. By the way, there's no more park maps at all. Everything is now completely digital through the Universal Orlando app. So first things first, that photo validation system that Universal is now using, it's fantastic. And I hope the other theme parks take note on this system because it's very quick and efficient. Now, if you're not staying at a Universal Orlando hotel for early park admission, you're allowed to be inside of the park around the port of entry area, which is where I am here, the front of the park. And you're just going to be kind of waiting here until 9 a.m when the general public is released. But it looks like we're heading over to Seuss Landing to scan our ticket for early park admission. Once again, for Here we go, heading towards our right, He's, uh, towards Seuss Landing. Admission. Hello, good morning, thank you so much. And that's all, we're in. Everybody is heading in this direction, I'm assuming towards Hagrid's. Passing by Mitho's restaurant. In my personal opinion, I believe this is the best restaurant inside of this park. Be sure to try to get a reservation if you can to save you some time. I can already see a massive queue line for Hagrid's, so I think I'm going to pass on Hagrid's for now. Is the Velocicoaster open? Is there another one over here? I'm gonna head in this direction, let's see. And yes, the Velocicoaster is open. I think I made the right decision. There's like nobody on there. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. I've called it since the moment I was walking 
to City Walk. It was going to be a great day. It is 8.12 in the morning. Velocicoaster has a 15 minute wait, which means a walk on. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. The newest attraction here at Islands of Adventure has a walk on via early park admission. Good morning. <laughs> so cool. Look at this. It was a straight walk on. I have to put you guys inside of a walker to ride this attraction. And I will see you guys once I make it off. Walker station number six. It is 824 and I'm already off the Velocicoaster. Come on. That is my favorite coaster ever. The Velocicoaster is so incredibly fun. That was actually my first time riding the Velocicoaster when it's chilly here in Central Florida. And let me tell you, woo, my face was numb for a little bit. My beanie came off. <laughs> it's awesome. Let me tell you, that will wake you up in the morning. But I'm just going to carry on and see how many more attractions I can ride. It's not even 8.30. <laughs> this is really working out ain't it looks like i can't go any further until the park opens at 9 a.m still has a 15 minute wait let's go ride for ben and journey i believe that's open and for my thrill seekers technically i could keep riding the velocicoaster and not have to wait i could have rode it maybe two three more times before 9 a.m you really can't beat that it is now 8 27 a.m Forbidden Journey only has a 15 minute wait and I need to go put my belongings inside of a locker and go ride. One thing that I do agree with a lot of people when it comes to Universal, it is a little bit of a hassle when you have to put all of your stuff in lockers to ride most of the attractions here, but safety comes first. I totally understand. And here we are. I have not been on this attraction in quite some time. If you are a Potterhead, this is the place to be. Looks like it's going to be another straight walk on. During the peak summer months, this extended queue line gets full. Right now it is early January of 2024. It's the slower time. I mean, it's still going to be busy, but it is a lot slower than the peak months of summer. This is so cool. Feel like I'm in the movie. Feel like I'm walking through Hogwarts Castle, which I am. Don't you think Harry Potter is the simple spicy Oh! My favorite part about this queue. Honestly, all of you, we have guests. Oh, he's muggles doing at Hogwarts anyway. I'm a muggle. I expect this is Dumbledore's doing. Dumbledore, unlike you, Salazar, sees the good in all people, whether or not they possess magic. And this is where the line stops. Right as we see Dumbledore. Have you ever noticed when you're walking through this room, all of the portraits, they have their eyes closed? Why is that? Does anybody know? I'm very curious. I am so certain you'll find it long. Enjoy the remainder of your stay with Oh, and should you catch sight of that dragon? Like what? Everybody is sleeping. This has to mean something. Right? Look how all of those visitors get a boot lecture. And if the woman sees us, she'll give us the boot. Have you got a better idea, Ron? Keep your voices down. Everything's going to be fine, but let's make this quick. Um, excuse me, we reckon we should warn you. If you stay in my slumber, you'll find yourself listening to Professor Bin's go on about 
It's the Daily Prophet. It is now 8.40 in the morning, passing by the sorting hat. About to board now. I forgot how much I love Forbidden Journey because it's not every visit that I get to ride Forbidden Journey and ride a lot of attractions. So I'm really enjoying my morning here at Universal Orlando here inside of Islands of Adventure. You know, there's been nothing to watch on TV and I really want to go back and rewatch all of the Harry Potter movies. Just because like I grew up on Harry Potter and it just brought back so much nostalgia for me riding that and seeing all of my favorite characters in this attraction. But if you are riding this attraction with little ones, especially, you know, new riders to the theme park world, this attraction does have some scary parts and elements to it, especially the part where there are Dementors. So keep that in mind, but this is great for the entire family. Passing by Ollivanders, there is already quite a bit of a queue line, and this is a must do here at Universal, especially if you are a Potterhead, do not miss this. And if you don't know what Ollivanders is, it's basically a wand experience where you get to pick your wand, there's a show attached to it. I'll try to film it one of these days coming up, so stay tuned. Oh my goodness, right now, Haggard's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure has a 150 minute wait. I think either way, you're going to have to just wait to ride Hagrid's. You can get here early, you can get here in the middle of the day, you can get here late at night. I think either way, you're just going to have to wait in line. It just makes me so happy when I'm walking through Hogsmeade or even over in Diagon Alley, seeing all of the kiddos play with their wands and do the interactive portion. And that's the whole reason why people go over to Ollivanders to get a wand. That way you can interact with everything throughout the land. It's quite awesome when you think about it. And if you don't want to wait in the queue line for all the you can always find one of these carts and you can just purchase a wand here without waiting. All right, it is now 8.53 and I'm heading over to hopefully ride Kong. Oh, okay, so they still have not let people on the other side of the park yet. There's not that many people here waiting, which is very nice for me. Nine o'clock on the dot. Everybody is dashing over to more attractions. So just to recap our early park admission, I was able to do two attractions. The first one, the newest attraction in this park, if not the biggest. I still think Hagrid's is the biggest, but Velocicoaster is right there as well. And then I got to do Forbidden Journey, another pretty big attraction inside of this park. Not too bad. And now I'm like one of the first ones to ride everything else. I was able to make it just about to the front of the line without running because running is not allowed. Keep that in mind. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to be one of the first ones on Kong. Okay, they are the first riders. So I am rider number four to ride Skull Island, Raina Kong. Welcome in, it's a 3D simulator. Thank you. I remember when this queue line had real scare actors. Please keep off the team ahead. Hello there. Your safety please do not sit in any of our rails, chains, or fences. Thank you. There's no way What the heck? I forgot about this. Ew. I'm in row number two. I'm about to ride in the first train of the day. I have my 3D glasses. It is 9.06. I have never sat this close Hiya, folks. to the, the driver. Hiya, folks. The name's Will. Will Santa. Oh, no. Right in front of us. This cannot be good. It is now 9.15 as I just got off Kong. I think now I'm going to head over to Marvel Superhero Island. That Kong animatronic is definitely the best animatronic I've ever seen in my life. It is so real looking and it's just, you have to see it to believe it. That is such a massive Kong animatronic. We're doing great this morning. I'm impressed. Dudley Do-Rights is a walk-on currently. I am now here inside of Marvel Superhero Island. I'm going to go ride Spider-Man, which is a five-minute wait. 
another walk on and then I'm going to go ride the Incredible Hulk coaster. Good morning, J. Jonah Jameson. This part of the queue line is always so full of people. Well, not today. And away we go. Just got off Spider-Man. I feel like Universal recently updated the footage because it was a lot clearer, which made the overall attraction a lot better. But now I am heading over to ride the Incredible Hulk coaster. Also, it is only 9.37. <laughs> I think for this attraction, I'm going to enjoy the single rider queue. I do have to put my belongings inside of a free universal locker. Okay, I just got off the Incredible Hulk coaster. That was just about a 10 minute wait in the single rider queue. Take advantage of the single rider queues. They're not at every attraction, but they're located at most attractions at both theme parks. So if you don't want to wait in line, if you want to save some money and not buy express, take advantage of the single rider queues. I promise that is a great way to go. Now you will be possibly more than likely divided if you are riding with the group. You won't be sitting with your friends and family, but I mean, it's better than waiting 45 minutes for the Hulk when I waited 10 minutes in single rider. So what is that? Five attractions, the Velocicoaster, Forbidden Journey, Kong, Spider-Man, and the Incredible Hulk and it's just about 10 a.m. in the morning, early park admission is definitely worth it. I was thinking about heading over to the Starbucks location here inside of Islands of Adventure, but that has a queue line itself. I think I may circle back to see what the wait time is for Hagrid's. I know it's probably going to be long, but honestly, I was not expecting to ride as many attractions as I did in the time that I did, which is incredible to me. Yeah, let's head over to Hagrid's and see what else I can do. Oh, what the heck. Let's go ride the cat in the hat. It only has a five minute wait. Shocker, another walk on. There's nobody in line. Look at that. And away we go. I did not know, but I'm allowed to film. Enjoy. And we saw him step in on the neck. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Make that cat go away. You do not want to play. Should not be about, but your mother is out. Why, you can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a Fish. Look at me! Look at me! I'm the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them Thing 1 and Thing 2. They are tame. Oh, so tame. They have come here to play. was fun. What are we at now? Six rides? <laughs> Circus McGurkis is still receiving its update. Yeah, I still think I'm going to pass on Haggard's for today because 
you enter the attraction via this way and it wraps in and out a few times and then goes over here through Hogsmeade and then you're in the actual attraction. Dang, but you know, if you're here on vacation, if you only have one day, just hop in line because Hagrid's is worth it. Trust me, that is such a fun coaster. You're going to enjoy it, but you do have to wait quite a while. But just do it and get it over with, regardless when you decide to do it, because like I said earlier, I think you're just going to have to wait in line, regardless of if you do early park admission, or if you just hop in and after park opening or right before park close, which I would recommend if you only have one opportunity to ride Hagrid's, maybe hop in it towards the end of the day. There's the barrel roll, the best part. By the way, look at the extended queue line for the Velocicoaster now. It's just about 10.15 in the morning. Now that makes sense. Velocicoaster is now a 120 minute wait. The Raptor Encounter only has a 15 minute wait. Looks a bit longer than 15 minutes, but not too terrible. Oh, what the heck. Let's go out with a bang. I'm now here at Jurassic Park River Adventure. This is a water attraction. It's a walk on. Hopefully I will not regret this. Okay, I think I'm prepared at least the most I can be. I'm in row number five. Exciting times. <laughs> well, I got soaked, but it was so worth it. That was so much fun. That was me just a second ago. <laughs> Kong is sitting at a 35 minute wait right now. Not too horrible, but I did want to mention the attraction is no longer going outside. I don't really know why. Passing by Spider-Man and wow, it is now sitting at a 50 minute wait and this attraction offers a single rider queue as well. There's Dr. Doom. It's definitely starting to get busier. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day. The vlog isn't over yet because there's something in City Walk that I want to show you and talk about. But two laps around the park, seven attractions done. I got here right at 7.30 and I got to do Velocicoaster, Forbidden Journey. What else did I do? Spider-Man, The Hulk, uh, Kong, Cat in the Hat, and Jurassic Park River Adventure. I'll call that a win. It really does pay off to get here early and early park admission is so worth it. I mean, this is a included free perk if you stay at one of Universal's hotels or if you're a pass holder. It's like they reward you if you come to this park. It's quite nice. Also, let's just assume that I did get in line to ride Hagrid's if I was only visiting the park one day and if I was doing this, let's just say it may be around 12.30 in the afternoon. I would use that time to either park hop to Universal Studios Florida or I would hop on the bus and just go back to my hotel room. And there are hotels, you don't even have to take a bus. You can just walk to the parks. It's quite nice. I have covered a ton of Universal hotels. I'll leave them down in the description below if you wanna check it out. I have a ton of Universal content coming your way. But like I said, I would either park hop or go back to my hotel to take an afternoon nap or enjoy my time by the pool and then I'll come back to the park maybe around 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock to close out the night and ride even more attractions. It is just about 11 a.m. and look at the amount of people that are just now getting here to start their epic universal day here at Islands of Adventure. Pays to get here early, no doubt. Just because I was talking about it, these are the Universal Orlando hotels that you can walk to. You do not have to take a bus, which is a very nice perk. Okay, the thing that I wanted to talk about here in City Walk is the Universal Legacy Store. There's the Cowfish and there's the main Universal Studios store right there. This is about to close any day now because the rumor on the street, and I talked about this back in my Epic Universe video, is this is going to be closing to make room for a Epic Universe preview center here in CityWalk. They have already started to remove things both inside and outside of the building. I've been hearing this Epic Universe preview center will open sometime this summer, and this is very exciting. We're even closer to 
the big opening of Epic Universe, Universal's newest theme park. And it is going to be epic indeed. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I had so much fun here today at Islands of Adventure, finally getting to experience early park admission for the first time. It's so worth it. It pays off to get here early. It pays off to be an early bird. Like I said a bit earlier, if I was just a regular day guest, I would use this time to park hop to the other park or go to Volcano Bay if I wanted to, or just go back to my hotel room, take an afternoon nap, get some food, enjoy time by the pool, and then come back to the parks a little bit later in the afternoon because more people will usually leave and go back to their hotel rooms as well so you can use that time to ride even more attractions i do plan on doing this exact same video from the other park universal studios florida so stay tuned for that i have so much more universal content coming your way very soon so don't be surprised if you see a lot of universal videos in the next 30 days it's going to be fun either way my birthday is coming up i can't wait let me know down in the comments what house are you from harry potter are you gryffindor are you hufflepuff are you ravenclaw or are you slytherin i'm hufflepuff team hufflepuff baby Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.